we will be discussing about ulnar nerve palsy briefly discuss about the supply of ulnar nerve Now that the ulnar nerve, it has no supply in the arm, passes behind the middle epigondyl and the forearm, it supplies two main muscles. These two main muscles supplied in the forearm are the flexor carpe ulnaris and flexor Digitorum profundus medial half it passes and it supplies muscles of hypodenar eminence. Those muscles are abductor, digite minimi, flexor digite minimi, and opponents digite minimi. And sensory branches are so medial aspect, this is the lateral aspect. It supplies the medial one and a half fingers. Up to the distal phalanx and the skin over the hypothenar eminence supply arm medial one and a half fingers skin of hypothenar eminence and medial one third of palm on dorsal and palmar aspect and other muscles, intrinsic muscles supplied are all in roche and third and fourth lumbricals. And another muscle which is supplied as the deep muscle of the palm and adductor pollicis. I have seen that we test the ulnar now through test like car test, Igawa test, signs are from and sign. Martinburg sign.
Oh. Level of the palsy, Arna na palsy, can be above the elbow. This is known as high Arna na palsy. When it is at the distal point of the forearm, at the level of wrist, which is called low ulnar palsy. So you know that when there is high ulnar palsy, the nerve supply to flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus will be gone. And the nerve supply to the muscles of hypothenal eminence and the intrinsic muscles like indrosi, lumbricals, erector pulses are gone. And the sensory supply of the medial one and a half fingers and the skin of hypothenal eminence is gone. So, when there is a low ulnar nerve palsy, the nerve supply to the flexor carpi ulnaris and the flexor digitorum profundus will be preserved. All other muscles are affected and the cutaneous supply is affected. So, in high ulnar nerve palsy, Flexor carpe ulnaris and medial harpo. Flexor digitorum profundus will be affected. This will be affected. And uh, muscles of hypothena eminence will be affected and all in Roche and third and fourth lumbricals affected and at the polices is affected in sensory supply of medial one and a half fingers and medial one third of palm is affected. So what happens in low alano palsy? Here what happens is that as the alano palsy occurs distal to the supply to the flexor carpi ulnaris and medial half of flexor digitorum profundus, these two muscles will be spared. So that is the difference between the high ulnar nerve palsy and the low ulnar nerve palsy. In low ulnar nerve palsy, the supply to the flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus medial half will be spared. All other muscles are affected. Hypothena muscles, God, Indroshi, third and fourth lumbricals, adductor policies, affected. <coughs> Sensory supply to medial one and a half fingers and medial one third of palm is 
this effect. So the difference between high Allano palsy and low Allano palsy is that in low Allano palsy, the supply to flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus is spare. The deformity which occurs in non Allano palsy is known as ulnar claw hand. So, to understand this, you should know that Allah now it supplies to intrinsic muscles known as lumbricals. That is third and fourth lumbricals. Lumbricals is a Lumbricals is a flexor at MC, MP joint. It causes flexion at the MP joint. And Alna now also supplies all in Roche. In Roche also causes flexion at MP joint. So, with the action of lumbricals and indoche, there will be flexion at MP joint. And these two muscles also causes extension at interphalangeal joint. So, when there is ulnar palsy, These two muscles are affected and in Roche, lumbricals third and fourth and in Roche, they are affected. So, the flexion at MP joint will not occur. Instead, there will be extension at MP joint and flexion at the interphalangeal joints. So that is known as claw hand. So extension at in P joint and flexion at interphalangeal joint. So the extension occurs because of the paralysis of the lumbricals and introchiae which are supposed to cause flexion at the MP joint. And flexion occurs because of the action of the long flexors. So in Aldano palsy, there will be only clawing of the third and fourth fingers. Clawing of that is ring finger and index finger. This is because cause is that only third and fourth lumbricals. Supplied by Allah now. And first and second lumbricals are supplied by the median now, which is in that in Allah now palsy. So in Allah palsy, there will be clawing of ring finger and the index finger only, which causes Allah claw hand. So ulnar claw hand is the clawing of third and fourth fingers. So there will not be clawing of other 
digits because the median now is in that. So complete flow hand is seen only in combined median now and ulnar now palsy. Next, what is ulnar paradox? Alna paradox means the alna claw hand is seen only in low alna low palsy. This is because in low alna low palsy. The nerve supplied to the flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus medial half is spared. So, this along with the paralysis of lumbricals and third and fourth lumbricals and in Roche can cause an ulnar claw hand because ulnar claw hand occurs if there is loss of flexion at MP joint and there is flexion at interphalangeal joint. So, loss of flexion of MP joint causing extension at MP joint combined with the flexion at interphalangeal joint results in deformity called ulnar claw hand. So, this occurs only at low ulnar nerve palsy because in low ulnar nerve palsy the nerve supply to these two muscles are spared. If these two muscles are intact only, if these two muscles are intact only, then it results in ulnar claw hand. In high ulnar nerve palsy, now supply to flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus medial half is gone. So there is no flexion at IP joint. So, so ulnar claw hand deformity is not seen. So what does this ulnar paradox means? It means that in high ulnar nerve palsy because of loss of nerve supply to flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus, the deformity is not C. That is called ulnar paradox. So ulnar claw hand deformity is seen only in low ulnar nerve palsy. That's all about ulnar nerve palsy. To see more videos from our channel, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.